Hi everyone, good day and welcome to our virtual classroom. So today is another session that uh, is very special because we are going to learn something very interesting. This is about cruise tourism and today the topic will be all about cruise experience. Isn't it exciting? We have identified learning objectives for this cruise tourism. One, describe how a cruise vacation come about. So here, we will be able to learn what are the things, what are the requirements that one has to prepare before pushing through uh, to book on a cruise vacation. Uh, do you need money? How much money? What are the documents needed? Passport, visa, do you need all of this? So we will be learning that here. Another learning objective is knowing what takes place on at sea days and in port days. So at sea days when the ship is sailing and in port days, these are the days where the ship is docked and the, the cruisers, the tourists would go down and do a tour. We call it shore excursion or in short, shorex. Then we will know the embarkation and disembarkation procedures. Embarkation, going up the boat. This embarkation is going outside uh, the boat, be it, uh, you know, uh, if you are joining a uh, Shorex or if it is the end of the cruise, uh, the cruise tour, okay? Then understand the uniqueness of a cruise vacation against other forms of leisure travel. Compared to other forms, like uh, if you will visit Hong Kong, Macau, uh, by land without joining a cruise. So how will cruising be unique in some ways compared to this other leisure form of travel? Okay. And finally, know and understand the complexity of cruise vacation. Okay, so there are three aspects of cruise vacation experience. So our topic for today is about cruise experience. And there are three aspects. One, before booking. So uh, in this uh, aspect, what are the procedures, the requirements, uh, how to go about uh, when you start thinking of cruising, what are the first thing to do? Yes, okay. And the second aspect is during cruise. So this is uh, the most exciting part because the experience really is on this aspect. And finally, the post cruise or after the cruise. So normally this is the end of the cruise tour and it doesn't stop there so there are still some procedures or experience that one has to uh you know uh, to feel because it's really an amazing experience cruising This time, uh, we are going to talk about one aspect, the number one aspect, which is before booking. Understanding cruise deals, meaning you, uh, there are discounts, um, there are, you know, good deals that are very uh, familiar to, uh, you know, cruisers, 
mostly North Americans from the United States of America, from Europe. There are, these are the people who really love cruising. So cruise lines offer a huge variety of deals. So many choices are, uh, you know, uh, you can see them on uh, advertisements. So really a number of deals you have to choose from. Next, clients must be careful in checking out different deals before finally making a purchase. Why? Because you have to really identify what do you need? What do you want for your cruise vacation? And sales agents must understand how deals work to better serve the cruise market. Sales agents are doing their best to really reach out these um, cruisers and uh, give them the best that they can get out of their cruise packages. So before booking, uh, these are some of the enticing deals that cruisers can choose from. One is discounts. Oh yes, discounts are very uh, enticing, exciting. You know, who wouldn't want to have a discount? I want a discount. So everyone wants a discount, okay? So discount 50%, 40% off, but these discounts are being given if you will book ahead of time, like a year before the cruise date, yes. Some are booking as far as 10 months, 12 months, 8 months, 6 months before the cruise date. So you get big, big discounts. Another deal is buy one get one free so one paying cruiser or passenger then the second person is free of charge buy one get one free and on value is another deal this is about the perks the additional uh, you know um, discount or extra free this wow name it you have it it's really exciting to know what are the add-on value on top of the cruise fare kids sail free yes um most of the cruise ships they make free cruise fare for the kids ages uh, from 17 and below so they're free but only cruise fare so there are other uh, parts of the package that are not free but the cruise fare is free okay what are this uh, you know things that are not free maybe taxes port charges yeah so cruise fare free but other charges like port charges are not free then group booking oh um you have to gather at least 15 or 10 depends on the um, the sales agents 15 paying cruisers or passenger plus one free or 10 uh, 10 passengers paying passengers and one free so the more passengers you book the more you know uh, discounts or free FOC free of charge passenger you will get so um, this is the most exciting part or aspect of cruise experience during the cruise wow embarkation and first day on board 
So let's go to embarkation first. Cruisers must remember to ready the needed documents, such as what? Passport. Passport is a very basic document one has to prepare before thinking of cruising. Um, you have to check your passport if it's uh, still valid, of course. And if you need visa for the cruise, the sales agent normally will assist you as you book for the cruise. Copies of government issued IDs, yes, because from time to time, they will ask for the copy of your passport, uh, government uh, issued ID. So it's very important that you have with you photocopies of these important documents. And of course, cruise tickets. Cruise tickets are different from air line tickets because if you will be meeting the ship the cruise ship somewhere you that you have to fly first to take an airplane for example you will fly to hong kong first and in hong kong you will meet the cruise ship so you need air ticket airplane ticket and then upon arriving at the hong kong airport you will be transferred to the pier, the port. And from there, you will be given your cruise tickets in exchange with your passport. So they will collect the passport and they will give you cruise tickets. So the first day is definitely a busy day on the port. Busy because many people uh, sometimes hundreds. There are some uh, uh, cruising which really you will see a thousand of people are there and uh, BC some are disembarking the you know going outside the ship while others are preparing to go up the boat to embark. So, unless one has a priority embarkation, because there are some cases where you have to, uh, you know, uh, go to the courtesy lane if it's a special group. So, you will be uh, uh, taking a special lane. Otherwise, oh, long queue, really. But, you know, it's a very exciting <laughs> experience so queuing will allow you to you know look around feel the oh is this the, the 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 port is this the place are we going where's the ship all these things are really in your mind already during the cruise so embarkation and first day on board so we are still there in that aspect number one cruise card what is cruise card earlier i told you that as you board the cruise ship your passport you have to surrender um there will be some kind of front desk where you will be giving your passport and in exchange the cruise ticket and the cruise card will be given to you so in the picture you will see costa uh, romantica uh, yes costa neo romantica these are the the sample cruise cards no so this card will provide access to the ship so this will be your when you go out uh you know you will just tap it and you know it's already there that you went out during shorex and upon embarkation again you will tap it again and it says in the computer oh this passenger have already you know got inside the ship 
So aside from that, this serves as onboard currency because you don't pay cash there. You use this cruise card to, you know, to buy things, to pay for the drinks, to if you are going to avail of the spa, uh, you have to pay it. And this will be the, the card that you have to present. So it's used for all onboard payments and other transactions on board the ship. It also contains information such as the passenger's name. So it's a special card that uh, you will, you know, have it when you finish your cruise because it's a uh, a memory part of your memory no? souvenir yes okay so containing your name uh, your home country normally if it's uh if you are from the philippines so philippine flag yeah duration of the cruise the cruise date when you uh, embark and uh, what date are you disembarking then assigned master station master station is a place where you will be gathering everyone because you will have a drill no with the light vest you know and uh, exciting yes so you will be uh, assisted by the crew as you head towards that master station and you have to do it before uh, the sailing, the actual sailing of the ship. And assign restaurant and seating. So every time you will go to a restaurant like, uh, uh, you know, because we have several restaurants. There are several restaurants on board a ship. So as you book for, um, you know, like um, specialty restaurant. So you have to present your cruise card. This picture really will amaze you. Why? Because as you can see, the area is full of people. Yes, this is during embarkation. The people you see here, and there's a door, a round door. That's the entrance that will really get you into the ship normally there's a uh, a building where you will be going inside and you will be guided to um something like front office then you have to fall in line you have to submit your passport they will give you cruise tickets and you will start falling in line already so these people as you can see they're on queue until they reach that door so from that door and you will see the ship already i think part of the ship you can see from here do you see that it's narrow okay so you see part of the ship and this is the building where you will be uh going inside then there's a bridge that connects the building and the cruise ship okay so exciting and you know upon entering the ship you will be welcomed by you know the crew will take a picture of you and bingo this is it this is the picture that you will be buying you will be getting if you want but normally you will buy you will be excited to you know have this picture and uh, sometimes the crew will join this picture ah i think this is a crew the two ladies are crew yeah okay and a uh, family of three the father the mother and the son with the welcoming crew Okay. okay so during the cruise this is another exciting experience my goodness first day on board embarkation day is a very busy day for ships company why because there are cruisers who are going down the ship 
as well as there are cruisers that they, uh, will go up the ship. So, for those who are, you know, they finished the cruise already, they will go down. So, going down is this embarkation. And the other guests who are going to join the cruise, so they will go up and that is called embarkation. So, this, the disembarkation, the embarkation is called turn around day. It's really a busy day. Another experience on board the cruise uh, from the second aspect during the cruise is the safety drill. Uh, don't you know that uh, it's part of the law, required by law rather, that before the ship will sail, all the passengers, the cruisers, were already given the safety drill. Okay, safety briefing. Actually, from the room, uh, the life jackets are already there, placed inside your cabin. Then an announcement will be ting. So please proceed to um cabin uh, hallway b 11 deck and uh, this area so you will follow you will be bringing your life vest and you will be going to that uh area where you are told to go and it's amazing again why everyone is going there they're not lost because it's properly uh, you know conducted so once you arrive in the area you will be uh, told to you know stay relaxed uh, just fall in line stay as you are then uh, the crew will do the announcement so this is how you do it you put on your life vest you tie it you know, somebody will uh, you know will show you uh, the cruisers how to go about it it's exciting because you know oh my god excited the first day and passengers will be asked to assemble assemble sorry at the ship's master station where you will be given the uh, the instruction ships crew shall assist and guide the guest in the execution of this activity you will notice you will be assisted really this is how to put okay ma'am so this is the so it's a very busy area then after that so you will be told to go back to your cabin but you know you will not go back immediately what will you do picture taking <laughs> you know the group picture with the with the life vest so exciting so this time we will go to the most awaited part the sail away after the safety drill so passengers will go back to the cabin and uh, start of the sail away Cruise ships highlight the moment the ship leaves the dock, the docking area at the pier inside the port. For open waters, the official start of the cruise is when the ship leaves the pier. Yeah. Okay, it's already moving. Wow. Some passengers will be, you know, watching the pier, waving. Uh, the people from the port, uh, from the pier, will wave, bye, bye, see you, because you will be going back there, right? Okay. The, where you embark, uh, that's also the place where you will be disembarking. Okay. Then celebrations vary depending on the ship. Usually they hold open deck or top deck parties it's a welcome party actually during the first day on board it's a big uh, celebration because part of it is welcoming all the new visitors on board the ship remember 
uh, before they boarded, other guests, you know, disembark. So this is another group who will do the cruise experience. So a lot of parties, sometimes they do it on top deck, the pool deck, the Lido deck, or, or any, uh, you know, area uh, on board the ship where uh, this is commonly known as sail away party, which includes cocktails and music. So you will be invited. Everyone will be, uh, you know, uh, received there. You will have to see. Uh, they have music. They have program. And uh, the captain will be going there to welcome the guests. Welcome to this ship. I am the captain and this is my crew. So uh, the members of the crew will be introduced by the captain. So you will meet the captain there. And uh, pika pika food, cocktails plus music is on the house. Dinner, first dinner at sea. So sail while on sail, sail away, no? While at sea, remember? At sea or at port. Okay. So this is, you know, sail away. You're sailing away. And the first dinner uh, at sea, the first day on board is topped off with the first dinner. Passengers usually head on to the main dining venues or can already try the specialty restaurants for a more special dining experience. I have told you earlier that there are several restaurants uh, inside the ship and uh, it depends on the cruise package that you have availed uh, for example, there are 10 restaurants, but the cruise package that you have availed um, includes four of the 10 restaurants. So there are specialty restaurants. You want Chinese restaurant. You want to try the Italian restaurant. You want to try the, uh, the Spanish restaurant. So specialty restaurant. It's all free. It's already included in the cruise Package. At sea days. So the whole day or days uh, are spent sailing to the first or next destination. During at sea days, by the way, uh, people are busy going around. Um, you know, visiting the shops, shops on board the ships are open during at sea days. So whenever the ship is docked, the shops are closed, of course. Why? Because the tourists would go down and do the tour. So during at sea days, this is the time when the cruisers are going around the, the facilities, they have movie houses, they can go jogging, they have a gym, yes, they have a spa, they have sauna, 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 and uh, they enjoy really recreation or, wow, it's anywhere everywhere okay the lido deck or the pool deck normally is on top uh, top deck they call it so you familiarize yourself with uh, both sides of the ship going uh, to the front of the ship going to the back of the ship and going in the middle of the ship so what are the shops available and uh, normally they have sale they give sale and remember 
the things being sold on board the ship is original. There's no fake items there, of course. Okay. So at sea days are busy, busy days also, because for a family you have time to you know uh, go around. Let's go and see the movie. Let's go and see the um, the show because they will be giving you the schedule for the day um, in your door you will uh, you will be given uh, there they will just put a paper and when you get it oh this is the schedule for today so please see you at the bar on this uh, time and uh, enjoy the movie house there is also library library so those are the different facilities amenities on board the cruise and you really get to you know familiarize your, yourself with all the facilities there okay for students we uh, we are given a schedule because uh, the itinerary is uh, very you know it's planned, planned itinerary. So uh, we have a ship's farm tour, ship's familiarization tour, where the kids, the students are given the chance to see the different departments of the cruise ship, okay? They have the kitchen or the galley. So sometimes um, they will give seminar and the students will listen to the seminar uh, conducted by the crew sometimes the head of the fnb the manager of the housekeeping department will give a talk so life uh, of a uh, you know life at sea life uh, the cruise profession you know uh, do you want to work on board the cruise so this is the life yeah so what else port days okay so port days when you say port days the ship will dock you know? from Hong Kong for example we visited uh, Sanya in China okay so from Hong Kong we sail away sail away then we arrived in Sanya in China so we have about 10 hours uh, there at that port in Sanya, China. So there are two options that can happen when the ship docks. Number one, the ship may dock at the port or pier, dock, or the ship will anchor offshore in the middle, not really at the pier and passengers are carried ashore by tender boats so when we went to penang malaysia yeah in penang malaysia the ship cannot really dock right at the pier of the port okay but we need to go down and take a smaller boat called tender boats that will ferry us from the you know middle of the sea not so middle you know it's near the pier also and board that is small boat that will take us to the port or the pier and do the tour after the tour we shall be going back to that place where we will be boarding again the small boat the tender boats and go to the big ship so embark again there okay uh in the philippines in boracay for example the ships are not really docking right at the pier so it's uh anchored uh you know a little far then tender boats will take the guest at the wharf so they can tour uh have a tour of the island or really swim there 
Now we are done with uh, the first aspect before booking, the second aspect uh, during the cruise. We are now on the third aspect, which is after the cruise or debarkation. Debarkation or disembarkation, this term which means leaving the ship. So after the cruise, you have to leave the ship and this is uh, what we call disembarkation or debarkation. It's also the end of the cruise vacation and checking out on the cruise, on a cruise. Um, it's just like checking out on a hotel, right? Then preparation starts on the last night of the cruise. For example, tomorrow will be the last uh, cruise day. So tonight, uh, preparation starts. How? Why? One, settling the bills. Uh, it's the same as settling the bills when you are billeted a, in a hotel. Land-based hotel, I mean. So, the day before, the night before, you check out. You have to go to the cashier and check the, you know, the, the bills. So, you do that also on board the ship. The night before, they will uh, announce that cabins uh, numbers, for example, uh, so much cabin numbers will be uh, entertained on deck 10 at, there's a time, between 6 to 8 p.m. So you have to go there. You have to, you know, uh, go and arrange the bills, um, you know, check your, your card, then you have to pay already. The night before, you have to settle all your bills in preparation for checking out tomorrow. So once you have uh, paid the bill, that's it. So dinner, and normally again, there will be captain's night, no? It's a big night where, you know, uh, cruisers are also uh, encouraged to be, um, you know, wearing gowns. Yeah, it's a special night, the last night, where you can see the captain, you can have a picture with the captain also, and the dinner will be a special dinner. Yes. The last night on cruise will be as busy as the first night on cruise. But this time, uh, the focus will be settlement of passenger account uh, prior to the, you know, checking out in the morning. The following day, the last night will be um, about, you know, how much will I pay? Uh, what are the things that I have to settle? So you have to proceed to the assigned deck and there will be many counters, cashiers, to receive payment of the cruisers. That is uh, required that we have to settle the accounts passenger account prior to checking out the following day. Then passengers or cruisers give additional service gratuities or tips to the crew. You know, after three, four days, one week, that you are able to enjoy the cruise experience, you get to know this uh, crew who cleans your cabin, who gives you, you know, things that you request. So, you know, tipping is a culture and uh, they also expect that, um, you know, gratuities will be given. 
to them for the service. Last night on cruise, passengers need to pack their suitcases and luggage. By the way, the luggage um, actually during the you know the, the embarkation the luggage are left down um you know down the building as you get off the bus from the airport for example you were picked up by the bus so the bus will arrive at the pier then you will go up uh, at the building so where's your luggage luggage are lined up there and you will be meeting your luggage actually when you go to your cabin already. That's how well coordinated the movement of your luggage is when you join the cruise. So upon check out last night on cruise, passengers need to pack their suitcase and luggage and midnight before you sleep you really have to put your luggage outside your cabin outside your cabin and uh, you only have the the clothes that you are going to wear the following day because they will collect all the luggage from the cabins and uh, put it somewhere to be able to you know uh, trans transfer them during the checkout when uh, the ship arrives at the port luggage will be brought down where the bus again will pick you up and bring you to where to the airport straight to the airport or to a hotel if you are still having uh, you know a tour in that uh, country or you have to stay at least overnight uh, for example in uh, Hong Kong so you will be transferred to the hotel from the port okay. but speaking of luggage uh, the luggage will be taken care by the crew already okay packed luggage with tags must be left in the hallway that's it outside the cabin for cruise crew to pick it up okay. so it's very coordinated very systematic you can see now luggage left outside the cabins on the last night of the cruise so the crew will pick them up and uh, the following morning you're busy you will have breakfast then you are going to you know check out because prior to the checkout remember the night before you have settled your bills already okay. last night on cruise cruise ships gather guests uh, and uh, they give them feedback forms or they already put it you know outside your cabin um, and the guest will fill it up in the form uh, you know whatever comments you have to put you have to put uh, there if you're you know satisfied if you have any concerns so this survey is very important forms are available at the guest service delivered to the cabin and or given at the restaurants or oh, for F&B satisfaction survey remember you will still you know uh, have your breakfast on board okay so the ship usually holds some farewell show on the last night yes I told you about the captain's night where everyone will be you know uh, in formal attire and the captain will go around and uh, you know thank the guest and you will be have the chance to have a picture with the captain the morning of debarkation so after the cruise the the day that you will debark or disembark okay ship shall arrive at the debarkation port early morning and will require clearance 
from the Customs and Port Authority. So Customs and Port Authorities will go up the boat. Normally, they, uh, you know, they put a stamp on your passport. And by the way, the passport will be given to you upon checkout. There you will see that all the ports of call that you have, uh, you know, uh, gone the, the few days during the cruise, there will be stamped on it already. Breakfast is available at the various dining venues. Okay, so you will enjoy the last breakfast on board the cruise. And the ship company will announce through the public address system when passengers can disembark. So again, it will be done in a very well-coordinated manner. So one by one, you will be guided this way, uh, that way, until you reach the gangplank, you know. Then you will be going out the ship and you will be met by the sales agent to bring you again it's either straight to the airport or if you have another day another night to stay in that particular destination you will be transferred to the hotel what else announcements will be made as to the waiting area per, for passengers and those arranged through the same travel agency will have to exit the ship together. Okay. Ships manage the crowd by calling the groups who are up for debarkation to proceed to the gangway. Yes. Disembarking Passengers may have an arranged transportation, as I told you, to the airport for those with flights. They go directly to the airport, either done through the cruise line or travel agent. Others may still have city tours or arranged post-cruise vacation package. This is what I'm telling you, that if you have booked for cruise, then after cruise, you still have to stay um, one day, two days on that particular destination. So you will be transferred to the hotel. Or sometimes you are uh, going directly on a city tour prior to uh, check-in at the hotel. Thank you very much for listening and I hope I have given you some important information that will make you interested to work on board and uh, you know also experience the life uh, on board um, as a worker or maybe as a cruiser in the future so thank you very much have a nice day